Hey everyone, it's Will, Gamer Dad, with another video for you. So in this video, we're finally going to take off the last of the dual Hatcho Eastern Spirit Horrors, uh, the Minriki as well as the Demon Spire. So the Minriki is weak to Earth and the Demon Spire is weak to Wind. And so we're going to use a very similar strategy to one of the other pairs, where it's also uh, Earth-Wind kind of combination. We use Yuri to increase combo meter just like with ES Molina, and yes, I will have a 5-star review of her. She also increases power 60%, type resist down 60%. We also have, obviously, my waifu AS Suzette, who's dealing the damage, as well as AS Myers helping to increase the speed of our team, and also hit Menriki for uh, multi-hits with Earth Spiral such that we get extra combo meter. Remember that combo meter helps every single hit on your team during the AF do more and more damage. So a high combo meter is really necessary, especially against bosses like these. Now obviously, you can definitely use a Melissa team as well. However, I'm not using that uh, just to challenge myself a little bit. Note at the very end of AF, we used uh, high, high magic down. We also used Earth Wall as well as Guardian Field in order to survive that first turn hit just in case because it's a single target magical water attack and it's very, very lethal. On turn two, I VC'd in um, Clark, but because he has no shielding, uh, he took the full brunt of the um, attack and we had to use his hold ground uh, status. That being said, on turn three, we're now rotating in uh, AS Rosetta for Magic Zone. And we're also using Wolfnir as well as uh, multi shields with um, Earth Wall as well as um, later on uh, with Root uh, Stablis Mole. And if you're wondering why I'm using Magic Zone over, for example, a Mayumfa type team, I tried different comps with Mayumfa. The problem is that Mayumfa doesn't really boost uh, the damage for Magic users nearly as much as, for example, someone like AS Rosetta. And surprisingly, even though the boss uses primarily magical uh, moves, if you put enough shields up, that means the Volfnir or Vedarfnir, um, Earth Wall, Magic Down, as well as something like uh, uh, we are using Prayer of Judgment just in case it's uh, got a physical component to it, you can reduce the damage to either close to zero or just a few hundred. So you can see that only uh, AS uh, Myers took the, some damage. And don't forget that because three of the four frontline members are Western, um, they get 70% shielding from the uh, Vidolfnir, whereas uh, Myrus does only gets 35%, and that accounts for the difference in damage. At this point, we are just working through the fixed four turn rotation. Um, the first one, of course, of a four turn, a uh, four move rotation is a single target uh, magical water attack. Second one is the AoE. Third one is the 800 fixed damage that can apply multiple statuses, including poison as well as uh, stone. And then the fourth one kind of speeds himself up and gives himself an uh, extra sacrifice of whatever it is. So it gives himself speed up. Now keep in mind that with Myris on in play, we also speed up our own team, so we're still outspeeding the boss regularly. So you can see that we can survive using Vodolfnir, uh, Earth Wall, we have healing from um, Retoblish Mall, or we can use uh, ES Molina to heal as well. At this point, all we're doing is applying multiple uh, type resist debuffs using Days Array, and we're going to make sure we have all our buffs active and we're going to activate a large AF here. Now during the AF, the main thing is to cast Prayer of Judgment which powers up our magic team. And remember that in order to have our magic team do the most damage, we want one turn where we do at least three magic moves. Because the reason for that is, um, don't forget in Magic Zone, AS Rosetta boosts your team's damage by 20% per move uh, of the uh, done in the previous turn of any magical move. So in this case, the next turn will be increased by 60% damage. We have Prayer Judgment, obviously increasing damage based on maximum MP. We also have uh, four stacks of Terre Lumiere, which is from uh, AS Clart, and that gives upwards of 50% increased Earth type damage. And we activated Lunatic to power up his Vidolfnir, which we're hopefully going to use to clear off Menriki's uh, minions. Because once you beat Menriki in the first form, it splits into two. And if you beat either of those, it splits again into two for a maximum of four at one time. And if you do that, you can actually get attacked by four times by four different small Menrikis. And so we really want to clear it in one shot. So this whole setup is such that we're going to use AS Clark to one shot this one. So we apply 
um, type resist debuff with uh, AS Rosetta. And keep in mind, if you look my loadout, she is a lot faster than AS Clark, so she gets to act first and apply at least that one hit of Desiree, which applies a 25% type shield, uh, type resist debuff. And since we still have Lunatic active for three turns, well, one turn left, of course, we were able to do it again. And the Vidosnir, all powered up with still multiple stacks of the Terra Lumiere, can clear the boss here. I will say that I think I was a little bit careless. Um, you could definitely rotate Clark in on turn 3 of the rotation, which is a fixed 800 damage, as opposed to turn 2 where he took 4,000 damage. Another thing you could have done is you probably don't need a full AF. Once you can get the setup, you can just activate the AF, uh, activate Lunatic, 4 stacks of Terra Lumiere, and you should have enough int buffs from both um, from AS Myris to uh, deal the damage and end the fight. So anyway, so you can take a look at my loadout. Note that Melina is carrying Western Grasta slaving and sharing with um, AS Clark for maximum damage. Myris is there mainly as a support here. She actually isn't the main DPS for this team. Although her transform clock is still do a few million, we need actually hundreds of millions of damage in order to clear those Minrikis. Now in terms of our two wind taxers, we have AS Suzette as well as uh, uh, Yuri, and they can both apply pain so that we can get maximum damage from those two. These ones, she again is carrying damage, sharing for AS Clark, and the MVP here with a bunch of int badges and some enhanced ores made it through. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.